Howdy do, my name is John, also known as Dad. I make tutorials with a focus on WordPress and web development. I also travel the world and work from home with my wife and five kids, so if you hear random noises in the background, that's just us. I'm going to be working with Beaver Builder today and setting up a full-size header background with the menu at the top. If you're not familiar with Beaver Builder, it's the best page builder for WordPress with a focus on simplicity and getting things done quickly. There is a free version or you can pay for an extended feature set. I personally started paying for this once I realized how much time it saves me. Without further ado, let's dive right in. I have a sample page already set up with my WordPress uh, Beaver Builder theme and the Beaver Builder plugin set up. And what I want to do here is create a full size image with centered text and this menu right here in the background. So let me go ahead and just drag out a quick heading here. And let's put some text in there. I'll put uh, Beaver Builder Tutorials. I'm going to center this real quick, make it an H1 tag, nice and big and I have this set up. Now, if you're familiar with Beaver Builder, you know you can go into all the row settings to edit things like background images, full width and full height. So I'm gonna click on my row settings, come over to my width and click full width. The height is gonna be full height. And I'm gonna come through and set a background image to a nice pretty image I found online. Select that photo, drag it over here. and click select photo. I also put this nice pretty image in the background. Now I'd kind of like my text to be white instead of that darker color. So I'm gonna click on that, go over to style and change my text color to white. A lot of F's in there. All right, so now we have our centered text. I have uh, my background image, and you can see since I set it to full height, it's actually gonna be the full height of my screen size. But because I have a header and footer in there, I can scroll a little bit above and below. Now, if I wanna use my default theme and I don't wanna worry about going out and finding any themes, I have to do a little bit of tweaking to get my menu up here to uh, display in front of this background image. So I have my default uh, WordPress Beaver Builder themed navigation menu up top. That's a mouthful. And uh, I'm going to edit the CSS a little bit. No worries if you don't like code. This isn't some big scary thing. It's just a simple edit. If you go over to your menu in the top left corner while you're editing your page, I'm going to go to global settings and click on the tab CSS. Uh, this is going to edit the CSS for the globality of the site, if that's not a word, I'm coining it now. And I'm going to type in dot for the class FL page header. And this is the class that is assigned to this header. A class is basically a name given this so that we can use code to manipulate it. Uh, inside of here, I'm going to say position is relative and Z index is two. Now what this is going to do is it's going to give our uh, page header the Z index of two, which brings it closer forward. I'm lifting up my mouse like you can see it, but you can't. So it's, uh, it's going to basically bring this element in front of this element because all elements start with a Z index of one. So unless we change that, this one's going to be in front of it. Uh, if you think of it in a 3D environment. I'm going to go ahead and click save here. And the next thing we want to do is go back to our element. I'm going to click my uh, little wrench here to edit that. Go to advanced and take the top margin of this and bring it to negative 120 pixels. Uh, now that might differ depending on what you have set up. Actually, I think I need to go like 115. Uh, but basically what that's going to do is that's going to push this up. Now you'll notice that it did completely cover our menu. That's because the CSS that we've added in has not completely taken effect yet. Go ahead and click done and publish. 
And when you do that, you'll see that the header is now over the image. Now I can go into customize to do all the regular customizations I want to do because let's be honest, blue over this does not look good. Okay, and I'll be honest, I'm doing all this based on knowledge that I have. Apparently in the back end, it does not pull over the global settings for your CSS. So I'm going to go to additional CSS inside of my customization menu and type in that exact same thing that I just typed in. So FL page header position relative. What are you auto adding stuff for? I'm trying to type my own thing and Z index two. All right, so that will give us this inside of the editor. I can go into my header and we're going to change the color here. Let's get my link color as a nice white ish or something, just not blue and go ahead, publish that. So now when I go back and check out my page, I now have the navigation appearing over this top area and I can scroll down as normal to whatever additional content I have. So that is it for this particular tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.